I'm Professor Orbax, and this is my lab assistant, Sweet Pepper Klovek, and we're here today to discuss the science of burping. We're about to watch the world's loudest burp. The science of burping. Turns out there's quite a bit of information on this. Basically, over the course of a day, you eat a bunch of food, and that food goes into your stomach, and it breaks down into gas. The gas gets trapped inside of your stomach and has to find a way out. The way it does that is up through your throat hole. You produce 27 liters of gas over the course of a day. That's enough to fill a beach ball. Even bigger than this one. And it's got to wake a way out. A burp is technically called an eruption. And as the sphincters actually loosen, that gas shoots up and out. Now there's some debate as to whether the sound has to do with the reverberation of the esophagus or just the flapping of your esophageal flap. But either way, it sure is loud. How loud? I guess we're about to see. My name is Paul Hunt. I'm from Wolfram Abbey in Essex. I'm 46 years old and probably old enough to know better. I hold the Guinness World Records title for the loudest burp at 109.9 decibels. I developed my technique really by luck. I left school and I was always remembered for doing it. Oh, the so opportunity young. came up to have an attempt at the record back in 2000 and I managed to get the record and I've just honed it from there really. <laughs> my preparations before doing a very loud burp would be um, maybe the night before I would have a spicy curry or something like that to get the gases going in my stomach. On the day of the attempt or demonstration I will make sure I don't eat so my stomach is nice and empty. That way I can get more air in beforehand. Ah, As I'm good about technique. to burp, I'll take a fizzy drink. Fill it up with air. I'll breathe in some more air. I lean forward. <laughs> As I fill the air rising. I just, I just love how beautifully it's shot, like an epic movie. Whoa. Holy smokes, 109. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got, <laughs> we got a comment about that. 109.9 decibels, louder than a large orchestra of 98 decibels. Here's the thing with the decibel scale for actual sound. Every 10 decibels is another factor of 10. So for 100 decibels, which is about what an orchestra is, now you've got 110 decibels. That's not just 10 decibels louder, it's literally 10 times the energy that's gone into this thing. And even if you got up to 120, that's 100 times the energy. Every 10 is a factor, so you figure Something like a city street is like 80 decibels, right? This is looking at 110. So that's almost a thousand times louder than a busy city street. Good work, Paul. <laughs> He's got such a charming face when this happens too. <laughs> now that's science right there. from Australia. G'day, I'm Nev Sharp. I'm challenging Paul Hun. Oh my god, the challenge is on! Loudest bird. Go for you, Paul. Alright, Neville. How are you trying to beat my record? It's so unfortunate that he's just shooting a profile. 16 you know. years. Many challenges have come and gone. And I'm not going to give my record up lightly. Come and have a go if you think you're loud enough. Let's get this battle of burping ashes on. I'll hit you for six. Paul hasn't got a leg to stand on. Ah, shooting landscape. Smash him. Oh, it's killing, it's killing me. I'm ready for you. Any time, any place, I'm going with Paul just for cinematography. You can come to Oz. You can come to England. Whatever it takes. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> We are ready to see this challenge, Australia versus Britain. Who has the loudest burp? And that's our science and stuff. I'm Professor Orbax, and this is my lab assistant, Sweet Pepper Klopek, and we're your experimentors in the make and break section of Guinness World Records Science and Stuff. Make sure you subscribe, and please check out the other videos to see how you can make and break some of these records on your very own. Remember, science and stuff.